Hey guys, welcome back to the Deep Freeze. Today, I'll be taking you through day three of my new training program. So hopefully you enjoy and you can take something from this. So just like the other day, we're going to start off with another explosive jumping movement. Not only to improve that, but also to help prime us for what's to come later on in the workout. Because we want to be nice and explosive and quick. And this is an excellent way to do it. Doing these with the pad really helps. Last couple weeks, I have not had the pad, and tell you what, hips don't lie, they were not having fun. <laughs> so moving on to the unilateral exercises, these are important not only to get rid of, Im of imbalances between the legs, but also to help build up strength for things like squatting and jumping. As you can see here, there's a pretty clear imbalance between my right leg and left leg. Uh, you can see the angle of my knee when I'm stepping up. So these are definitely going to help me improve my squat and overall athletic performance if I stick to them. As you already know, I am a big fan of improving the posterior chain because it's great for pretty much all athletic endeavors when you think about it. Uh, so obviously I'm going to be doing hyperextensions again because I feel like they're such a great movement to increase the strength in your hamstrings and glutes without having to add too much load to them because you don't need to add a barbell or anything like that for like an RDL or a good morning. So I think they are a great addition to any workout when you're looking to improve the hamstring and glute strength. And of course, we can't forget about doing unilateral stuff for the hamstring and glutes. So this one's great, I find, because one, it helps with your balance and proprioception of your feet. But it also is an excellent way to strengthen the hamstrings and the glutes, because they need to work really hard to keep you stable. And also, it's pretty good for your core as well, because it's not that easy to stay balanced and you have to switch on your core the whole time to make sure you don't fall over and wobble around like an idiot like me <laughs> so yeah that's my leg workout done kind of sucked at the start but a bit easier towards the end so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and yeah Hopefully you stick around to watch my uh, cardio session in the next video.